Now we start. Hi, YouTube. Wait, why didn't spin work? Graph. The heck? Wait, I think I can get it. Oh, you know what it was? It's case sensitive, and I'm a dummy, so that's my fault. On the on my graph, it's in all caps, and on your guys' end, it's uh, only first letter capitalized, so that's my fault. Anyways, hi YouTube. <laughs> hi YouTube. Today we're gonna be playing some projects on Void. Whoa, I'm getting really dizzy. And then, and then we're going to go clear a nest, and then it's going to be really fun, and we're going to have some friends there, and it's going to be super cool. Anyways, hope you guys all have a good time. <laughs> How was that? Pretty lame, right? Alright, let's get started. As soon as it decides to load. <laughs> yeah, I fixed it. So for some reason, uh, for some reason, it was like set to all caps. I don't know why. Should be fixed now, though. So yes, redeem that one again. Should work now. Hopefully, that's the only one that was broken. I thought I did them all correctly. I need to see what kind of kind of ammo and stuff we have to work with here. I really wish we had an AK. We have so much seven six two. So we know it's gonna be sprinters. We have about a hundred shotgun shells. I feel like that's not enough. Like a bunch of random stuff too. I'm gonna have to get rid of. Took an M14 and M9. Yeah, that's a good idea. Looking for stuff I can drop off here. Yeah, it's like my statue. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> I went and found that yesterday. Uh, the micro mall is basically the same thing as if you were to use like, uh, like a sledgehammer. So I, I don't know if it would be worth it against sprinters. That's just my suggestion, anyways. Um, where's all my glass? Oh yeah, let's get this like sweet cigar now too that I can wear. Pretty cool. That's true. A wall of lead does work to stop them. See, I have a big, um, a big uh, metal wall, and then I have a big stone wall, and if those don't work, then I have guns. <laughs> Wait, we have an extra hammer too. I just noticed. Oh my gosh, that box is full. It's like my dump box. It's like all stuff I use regularly, but like I don't. Have anywhere to put? <laughs> uh, okay, there you are. 
Hey, do you want these knee pads? They're pretty good. They've eaten a few scratches and stuff for me in the past. I found try them and see if they are better. I th I thought so too, the Ranger ones, but I think these might actually be better. Because they also uh, block bullets, I think. Or they have bullet defense too. I think they're better than the Ranger ones. I'm not 100% sure though. Oh, they're a different slot. Heck yeah. Boom. Let's try to give a thumbs up, but for some reason my thumb won't go up. <laughs> awesome. I heard there was some trouble out in town. To go investigate. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm so unarmored right now, it's bad. I, I made myself way too lightweight, I think. That's so true, Ratwoo. I basically steal everything I can. I'm so bad. If it's not nailed down completely, and it's not just in someone's base, I'll, I just yoink it. Have I played Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead? I have not. What What is that? <laughs> you need to run faster than others, true. I need to get rid of some of these lighters. There's so much like crap I just need to like drop off here. Lose some of this extra weight I got going on. Maybe I'll drop the cat for now too. Here, the cat and the dog can have a little stare down. <laughs> um, and then I don't think I need my wrench, so I'm not going to bring that. All right, oops. All right, just dropping a few items. Hold my crowbar. These cigars actually weigh way more than I thought. Just my key ring. We're gonna open these boxes of ammo so we don't get stuck having to do that later. It's a similar zombie. Game? Oh, I see. I'll have to check it out. I've not heard of that. So, yeah, these are to put in my backpack. See, the thing about armor is it's really good when you're fighting shamblers and you're expecting to get shot. But I feel like it's not as good when you're fighting sprinters because if a sprinter stops you anyways, like, you're kind of just screwed and you have to, like, shoot them or get them off of you in some other way. Otherwise, you're kind of just dead. Oh, I'm getting kind of nervous. I think I'm going to like pee before we go. Yeah. Pack of cigarettes. Let's open it up. Wow. It's not a lot of cigarettes. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I love this song. So... That one in your jacket. Yeah, I basically stripped down to like the bare minimum. It's super bad. I have like a bulletproof vest on, my elbow and knee pads, and my flight jacket, and that's like, or my poncho, and that's like all the armor I have. It's pretty not good. 
<laughs> but like the problem is, is I'm I can't carry a lot still. I really need my strength to go up, and it's just a slog because I don't work out ever. Maybe I'll, I need to just like start logging in and working out a shit ton in game, and just like get swole. It doesn't help on like carrying a whole bunch of guns too, but like kind of have to, right? No, we're gonna clean this as well before we go, cause it actually jammed on me twice last time, and that was a little scary. Six to eight hours IRL. Oh my god. Whoa. Why am I lagging? Hello. Hello. Okay. We back to normal. No. What is going on? What is happening? What is going on? Whoa, I'm like floating. Look at me. Hold on, give me one second. I'm like all messed up. What's going on here? What's happening? Just look now when I minimize. I think I have to restart the program, maybe. Give me one minute. I don't know what's going on. I'm having like weird lag issues all of a sudden. I did like update my computer yesterday. I wonder if it like messed something up. Yeah. Back, but I'm also going to restart my camera. <clears throat> Your sleeveless jacket now? Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. So we had gun cleaning kits here. I'm gonna take one of yours. Wow, it does like nothing. What the heck? Beep pop poop. Hello? Oh, I forgot I have to Restart again, because for some reason, it doesn't like when I... When I restart with it... Whatever. Sorry, technical difficulties chat. This is how it goes. something to do. oh you know what it is it's this i'm an idiot vertical sync 60 apply that was all me being stupid chat okay i apologize for all of that i forgot i unlocked my fps when i was playing alone and it was causing the if i don't have vertical sync on it causes me to go all all laggy so that is my bad These are things when you don't stream all the time, you forget these things, and that's just something that I completely forgot was something I needed to. I needed to know. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> all right, but yeah, we're back to it. Let's let's do this. I'm gonna wash my wash my weapons off here.
Okay. Um, we're still so heavy. I think it's because we're just carrying so many guns. There's nothing I can really do about it. This game is very realistic. I will I will say that right off the bat. Um, when I introduce this game to people, I tend to call it a zombie apocalypse simulator, not a survival game, due to the fact that um, there's a lot of like simulation, um, like realism kind of mechanics involved, like to the point where let me just like as a very simple thing. Uh, right now, you can see my weight is only like 80 right now. Um, however, there's an entire nutrition system in the game. So if I sat here just like gorging myself on, you know, canned food. Let me see if the, I have like nutrition values. I think I when I died, I lost it. Yeah, so unfortunately, I can't see them right now because I lost my... Oh, no, here we go. See this margarine, how it says like the calories, the carbs, the protein, and the fat there? So certain things will have that uh, value like added onto them that I can see. Same with like butter here will have that as well. And so you have to actually balance out your diet. Otherwise your character will get fat, which is kind of crazy. So that's like just one level of realism the game has. Okay, I think I'm good to go when you are. I want to take the Humvee. But yeah, this game is very fun in multiplayer. Oh. What just happened? Wow, oh, my game just like... I think I lagged spike there for a minute. Person, this car hasn't started in so long. Oh, this is great going to investigate music. Yeah, it's like everything. You have to balance out your whole diet. I think the plan is going to be locate the nest and then we'll fight our way to it. Yeah, it's hot as hell this summer. It is. It's like been really hot in game lately. But what we're gonna do, Chaz, we're just gonna drive around, I think, and like just look for where the nest is. And then once we locate it, then we'll fight our way into it. They said that their old house, so it's going to be somewhere in the residential somewhere. Very likely not just down the main street. But yeah, that's just like one level of realism. There's people on Discord radio? Okay. Yeah, I can't, unfortunately, like, go between all that right now. I am kind of uh, too multitask at the moment with stream and uh, this, so I'm not going to be able to look at that kind of stuff for a while here. So 
So far, so good. Not seeing anything out of the ordinary. I'm wondering if it's in like the southwest part of town. So it seems to be where they uh they've been congregating lately. Yeah, here we go. Hmm. Turn. Uh, I'm trying to think off the top of my head, like, what other realism stuff is in here. Um, like, obviously, the medical system is pretty decent. Um, you have to, you know, sleep and all that. How's it working for friend dies? They just have to go back to their body, typically. They make a new character. Radio, it's about 50 runners near the nest. Oh, damn, that's quite a few. Near the police station? That's where we just were. All right, time to time to hoard clear, guys. So I'm not gonna be able to look at chat as much. I apologize. I'm gonna have to be focused a little bit because there are a lot of sprinters here, so it's going to be slightly risky. Uh, it depends on where they pick to to spawn at Redfire. Okay, we have a Samantha nearby. All right, we found some people, chat. Make sure to tell them to watch their fire, because otherwise the stinkers will freaking shoot us. <laughs> They'll get all panicked. I'm going to smoke a cigarette, actually. We'll let them kind of take the front, I think.
you guys have any bad like angles or anything, let me know. It's tougher. It's tough for me to uh to see here. Yeah, you guys hear that other gunfire? Looks forwarded up. <laughs> yeah, I have the I have the good hearing trait, so I can hear that from far away. Oh yeah, there's a friendly over there. Well, maybe not so friendly. Brother fucking dipped as soon as... As soon as he saw us. Oh, it's gonna shut at me. <laughs> Oh god. Blue hair dye. Gimme. What is this? Oh shit. Gimme that. Box of all five metalwork skill books. Oh, that's kinda sick. Uh, I have a lot of these dolls, actually, funnily enough. Um... Yeah, there was one guy in there dead. Did you guys see that? Oh, weird. Hold on. A car key. Another Spaz 12. Uh, this person must have worked as a clown. Lots of weird suits and stuff in here. Also, shotgun like mine, if anyone wants it. I'm gonna take the clown suit, unironically. I'm going to take this suit just for the fun of it. We have a whole bunch of silly costumes.
I'll take a uh, Monica Elisa too. Light as well. <laughs> Uh, don't worry, Redfire, there is, um, actually stuff already built into the game for that, so you don't have to worry. It's kind of nice. They have a whole sandbox thing, so you can, like, mess with literally almost any setting. It's really cool. Torch it to get rid of the mushrooms and the weird... Effigy in the other room. If you guys see these anywhere else, make sure to torch them. Yeah, so I'm basically telling them if they see these anywhere else to make sure to torch them. I don't know. I'm gonna go check that out though. Switching to my automatic. Yeah, there's a ton of mods too. That's the other thing. It this game has like the mo one of the most insane modding communities I've ever seen. It's like RimWorld and stuff like that. It's like genuinely so much to do and add. Especially like single player is nuts, and then you get into multiplayer, it's even crazier. Hey, no worry, anime. I hope you're doing okay with your physical therapy. No, the zombie bites and stuff like that, that's not all super strict. Don't worry about it. It's honestly very... It's all very customizable. The server I'm playing on, um, the bites are not fatal. Yeah, for sure. We should... Where we get everything out. Even if we don't want it, we can stash it nearby or something. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here still. Do you have an extra bag? Might be one in the Humvee. All right. I'm gonna check the rest of this place out. There's a whole bunch of like canned food and stuff in here. Hmm. Yeah, it really all depends on the server for sure. Everything is customizable, my dear. So you can uh, make your character exactly how you want, make them as strong as you want, as weak as you want, give them whatever traits you want. So like, just as an example, like this is my character. I started as a mechanic. Oops, sorry, I'm blocking it with my head. Um, I started as a mechanic. I'm claustrophobic, so I hate being inside. However, due to a mod that's currently active, uh, I have kind of worked that out a little bit. So this only will trigger now if I get stuck in like a like a small room, like let's say like this bathroom, and I close the door, and I sat in here for like a couple minutes, uh, I would start panicking a little bit, and that would kind of trigger my claustrophobia. Uh, I'm also very thirsty, so I drink a lot. Uh, I'm a paranoid toker, so when I smoke weed, I get paranoid, and I get like negative traits to that. Uh, I heal very slowly, so when I get hurt, it takes me a long time for my wounds to heal. Uh, I'm a smoker. And, you know, there's just all kinds of other various things, too. And 
Uh, they, they affect different things about your gameplay, like your traits, how your character plays, uh, your starting skills, which are like these right here. So you have like fitness, strength, these are your physical stats. Uh, you have agility, uh, which is you know, sprinting, you're crouching and sneaking around, being nimble, so like you can walk around and aim your gun and stuff like that. There's all kinds of different stuff. There's a lot of different different factors involved. It's really cool. We'll wait for Milo. There he is. I can gather this stuff up. I can gather it if you want. Up to you. Oh no! Ooh, this is like the event person. This is who we heard on the radio, I believe, calling out to let us know what was going on here. I think, uh, if I remember correctly, their father came in and died coming here or something. Did you find any other? I uh, would hesitate and sigh a bit looking up the stairs. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, we parked, like, right up the street from here. Like, right over uh, by the store. I nod. I need to come as quick as we could. These bastards were quick. Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do. There's a really cool challenge I've seen people do. Um, where you start in a house that's on fire uh, with, like, every injury imaginable and uh, surrounded by zombies, the alarm's on, and the whole challenge is to, like, get out and survive. It's, like, crazy. It's super cool. Unfortunately, it seems like they keep trying to test me. Almost as if they know I live nearby and want to draw me out to see how I'll react. Yeah, something like that. It's like the CBBA or something challenge. I can't remember the specific like name of it. There's like an abbreviation.
how the upstairs looks. We are probably going to want to burn it down. We don't. If we don't, there's a high chance more will rise. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of a lot of projects on board YouTubers um do that challenge. I was thinking about doing it once or twice just to try it out. I think that'd be fun. Yeah, Amphibious Amphibian did a did a video. I think uh did Spiffing Brit do one too? I can't remember actually. Oh, the Tristram theme, that's perfect for a nest, yo. It's like grim and shit. Oh, I'm like blocking it, hold on, look at this shit, guys. Space has so much starting cataclysm. Oh, okay. That's pretty neat. Right, let me bring myself back. Boing. I just wanted to show you guys like the all the craziness. Oh, the one kill one tile. Yeah, that's another challenge I was thinking about too. That could be a fun one. I was definitely thinking about doing some sort of challenges for this game. I think I would do okay at them. I'm pretty decent at the game, so I feel like it'd be fun. I hate to say, but this is a fairly common scene for me nowadays. Seems like the Infected, do this intentionally. Or, that's it seems. The infected, do this intentionally. I've been in five, six, seven nests now. They all have similar scenes. 
usually at least it's not good we might want to deal with with this before it gets too dark they thrive in the darkness A pipe bomb? Ooh. <laughs> I feel like I could do the one tile, one kill thing. I would have to figure out how to get the mod or whatever for it though, or how to like do it. I spy on RimWorld. I also want to do RimWorld at some point too. That'd be so fun. Yeah, I want to get the new RimWorld DLC at some point, because that looks so fun. Oops. Hopefully that deals with that. Just make sure there's none around the back or anything. It's set off upstairs. Must have, yeah. Looks like to be all clear. Woo! Heck yeah, that'll be fun. See you tomorrow at the war then. That's for sure. Frickin' hate Kentucky. <laughs> That's a cool, like, ready pose.
Born in life, born in death. Yes, sir. Born loyalist till the end. I've been asked so many times to play Kali, and I just, I can't do it. I just don't, don't want to. Ah, so that's you building the wall, then. Gotcha. We have a large compound on the outskirts of town. Thanks, Snowy, for the 18 months. Love you. Why am I still whispering? <laughs> it was quiet around here for most of the winter. Then, as soon as I rolled around, things started livening. Live. In a up, oh, I spell that next time. Boom! Oh, I sound fire. Um, quite a few. Jenny over there and I found the first one in the county way back in like December. I think we've cleared out six or so since then, I sort of, sort of lost count. Free subscription. That's super cool. I don't know how those work. That's really cool. Thanks for that. Should I look at the mirror? What do you mean? Oh. That's pretty cool. Oh, because I saw fire. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's a good one. I did not even get that until... Explain it, that's funny. <sighs> yeah, like I said, I think they're trying to test me or something. I've tracked them around the county, and I think they finally followed me back here and are starting to try to get me. The difficulty of stream delay? Yeah, I think there's a delay because of earlier when I was uh, having the big lag issue. Otherwise, there really shouldn't be too much, too much delay. Oh my god. And 
one out in Lake Ivy. Um, March Ridge. Louisville. Pier. Dixie. Waldra. Oh, a six second delay. Oh, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot I can do about that. It's, yeah, unfortunately, I think it's just like six with a new for the price hike. Ooh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Mostly where. There's a lot of people. Trainer. The only pattern I've noticed is a tend to mutilate animals or people create them in areas with a high density of survivors <laughs> catch a cold that's why i got the ponchos put your poncho on goofy I'm gonna put my head up. Puts her poncho on properly. By the way, do you guys want me to read off like what I'm doing? Is that does that like help you guys? So you're not having to read all the conversation that's happening. Sort of evolution. Hmm. Super, super concerning. Yeah. Through all that. Just started exploring the big city. Well, I'll try and make some use, use of it. Thanks. I hope you get on well, wherever you plan on going. Oh dang, no worries, Ratwoo. You have a great rest of your night. Thanks for coming and hanging out. We'll see you again soon. I guess specifically tomorrow for Foxhole, huh? <laughs> see you then. Bye-bye. Let me see what's on this map real quick when we're talking to this person. Seems they've annotated it a little bit. Oh no, it's just the whole map of Louisville actually. Oh wait. Crazy dude, don't go here. <laughs> I love it. That's the only thing on it. <laughs> I'll leave for Arizona. By a big horde. Arizona, huh? I've heard that. Um, 
another group before. Guess people are interested in the heat or something. Big forward. Like, how big? I have to take this hoodie off. One second, chat. Whew. I always forget when I close my door, it's just getting like really hot. Gosh, I can't barely see anymore. Fix my hairs. It's all messed up. Talking in thousand. Size a little and takes a puff of her cigar. I see. Damn shame. Like, seem to figure out that. Helicopter could probably do whoops. Quite a few folks out of here with it. Yeah, there's a helicopter over in the QZ and I think it's like non functional. But it would be cool to role play like uh escaping the county on it or something. And heading to like Arizona, which is where the second season's supposed to take place. I've looked at it on itself and had an avionics engineer look at it too. We can't really seem to figure out what the problem is. It's gonna fly anytime soon. A new item. There is actually indeed a new item. I did it as like a uh like a like a pay in or whatever, so you can just like contribute towards the goal or whatever. Kinda cool. Check it out in case you're interested. It's uh it's a steering wheel, so you can play games like American Truck Simulator. I found um some friends who want to do like convoys and stuff. Could be pretty fun. Yeah. The risk versus reward is all depending on where we plan on taking it. I think if it was in working condition, we could defend it long enough to get out. But we would have to know exactly where we wanted to go. American Truck Simulator? Maybe. It seems really fun, like, to play with uh, people, because you apparently get to just, like, pick the same job as other people and, like, all work together on, like, the same one. So you can do, like, a convoy, they call it. Uh, I'm gonna turn on my light so you can, you can see. <laughs> Regardless, I don't think it's moving anytime soon. 
As for the winter, I'm not really sure. Back then, I was too worried about survival. Nowadays, I want answers. Oops. Aha! There you go, with a lantern, that's a good idea. Now we can see. The heat does affect that, maybe going further south isn't a bad idea. It might... Oh, it's gonna keep raining. Hmm. Interesting. Pulls up her Yeah, I just gave her the date, because I figured that made more sense. I don't actually know what year it is in... Yeah. The weather has been quite weird during the winter. It's torn for like a month and a half straight, I think. I think it might have something to do with them. Oh, 2001, you're right, because it was 2000 for the lower, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I do remember that now. I eat. Uh, do I have a marine on me? You yeah, do. Yeah. I wish I had more of those. Those are like the best, best food I've ever found. It's a little MREs. I need to start carrying a lantern around. Those things give out so much light.
think her base is like up here, right? You said? Yeah, this is this one. What terrible hospitality. They invite us back and then they're just like... <laughs> I'll just leave my car in the middle of the road. Damn, so there's no couch in here. You should have seen my yard before. <laughs> yeah, my vehicle could be very silly, but I said so much shit just laying around. <laughs> No seats? What is this? Puts out her cigar and takes her poncho off, throwing it over her shoulder. I think that. And uh, um, you can sit on the ground and do. Ah, like one of these. Yeah. yeah, that works. Has what we need. Yeah. Fair point. Fair enough. I tend to. I need as well, but I also got like 10 other mouths to feed too. So I gotta take their opinions into consideration. <laughs> yeah, I have a pretty big group. Not that everyone really plays a lot anymore, but you know.
All right, I just got a ping. My D and D got canceled. That stinks. I was looking forward to that today. Mm. Our walls took a bit to have two layers. And you could say uh, something like the queen in my castle. You guys saw my like castle walls, right? I'm like a little queen up in my little my little castle. It's so cool. Plus I have my like special room up in the top of the farmhouse. Oh yeah, we're so rude, we didn't even introduce ourselves. <laughs> we just gave it like yeah, we're just gonna fuck shit up and just hang out. No, no, we did not have any introductions whatsoever. It was all um, just us running up and just being like, time to fight. <laughs> My rude ass always forgets. Um, Annie. Annie LaRue. That's actually a great way to do it. Just blame it on hard of hearing that you just weren't looking at the chat. That's so funny. I have such a bad habit of just like focusing on the chat too much. So what did we get? We got an entire clown outfit. That's so funny. And a piranha plushie. And a turtle. Those are the only ones that I saw in that whole pile I don't think I have. Which is funny. So that means I think I have like most of them now. Saw the little <laughs> there's that rude ass guy on the corner of the map. Oh, I was gonna go pee, but now I have to wait. Hey, happy 26 months. Thank you, Sly. Appreciate it. And you got the stop right there, Criminal Scum one, too. That's so funny. I love that one. It's like one of my favorites. I have a couple of like really good custom ones in there, too. I don't think I've like seen any of them yet, too, which is great. So when they happen, they're going to be good. I spent like a whole day one time making like, I think it was like four or five of them. <laughs> Where's the horde? Oh.
from the north, huh? So you're saying the horde that was being talked about was possibly going to come in from the north, so let's map here really quick, chat. So it would cross this river right here. This is where they would flood in from across the uh, Ohio River right here, I believe this is. And just thread through, which makes sense. So I... I guarantee you what's going to happen, there's going to be a giant horde. It's going to, like, walk down this road and just walk down this road until it gets to West Point, and then it's going to just so weep West Point and then keep heading west. And that'll be, like, it's... This will probably be its end point because not tons of people live out here anymore. That's crazy. Hmm. Yeah, we should have worn Grand Bastion. Ooh, my arm was like inside me. That was funny. Yeah, we should have worn Grand Bastion because. If we don't, then they might get overrun without realizing what's going on. Yeah, I heard there were some other people that lived out there too, but I haven't spoken with them. Wait, did our music stop? Yeah, it did. We're getting much of lower chat learning things. I wish my hand thing was like more consistent. It was like right now I'm holding a water bottle, right? And now I'm gonna try to take a drink. Okay, I mean that kind of worked. So we group down south. Down south. South here, or hmm. yeah, there's other smaller groups like yours around, but they seem to be somewhat. Nomadic, and I can't seem to track them down. <laughs> Got MS. Yeah, it's because it's like so, like so weird when I'm holding it like an object. I just need better, uh, like tracking or something. I really want to get uh, when I was like vibe things for the trackers, so I can put on my hands. It's so expensive though. Yeah, 
there. Like few people out there are mostly too happy either died or left. Super sure why the infighting and other factors like that. Ghost All right, I'm starting a little bored. Uh, I'm gonna try to wrap this up soon, and then we'll uh, we'll move on. We'll do something else. As much as I like to RP and uh, whatnot, um, I think we got all the information that we uh, we can get here, and uh, it's time to move on. I think just because yeah. I don't want to like sit around and just talk forever. This is why we uh we sat by Red Dead uh Red Dead Online, you know, because uh staying around talking too much it got it got boring. I want to like do things, especially on stream. I don't mind um you know hanging out and just uh talking to people sometimes, but uh, when the conversations are kind of just like at a dead end or whatever, and people are just talking to talk, then. Uh, I start getting a little bored, and I want to go move on and do something else. Yeah, that was a little mean. I was just like, yeah, you know, not everyone's cut out for the fucking apocalypse right after this person's, like, parents just... <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oopsie. Wait, see what she has to say here.
uncle. Maybe. Who was your uncle? Apparently, I might know this person's uncle. I have to pee. I'm gonna give it like five more minutes, then I'm gonna like for sure go. <laughs> yeah, I remember I tried him for all the pipes. I got like a hundred pipes from him. The Game of Thrones. Oh, House of Dragons or whatever, right? <clears throat> I forgot that that, uh, that started up again. Like a, the dudes who house this one just like left. Like, where'd they go? Pretty sure they went like over in this room over here. Hello? Hand? Point? That way? Okay, maybe not. Yeah, my hands are dumb. This niece is going to Arizona. Okay. <laughs> I the radio was on. That's so funny. Hmm. I did not have time to answer before, but I heard the broadcast. Yeah. We found the nest. And a woman there. We're at the base next to the gas station. Her and another one who lives here. And her Right there. Helped us clear the nest. Oh, I could say over. Over. <laughs> we were trying to get out of the habit of doing that on the radio because it like makes sense. 
for us to uh, do that in character. Because we're like talking on the radio, you know? Oh, really? I want to go over to this train yard they keep talking about. They've mentioned it multiple times. It feels like there's a nest there or something, but I'm not sure. Maybe it's just like an odd place that they found. Do you think that maybe train yard is a potential nest site? Yeah, mine was getting part of the message cut off too. Um, it was mainly because he's far away right now. He said he was about 9,000 meters away and it's raining outside if I'm not mistaken, so it was just interfering. We're getting like radio interference. If I'm not mistaken, he was like out in like Louisville or something. Nearly barren. Hmm. The nests seem to mutate them. Time I can hear the nests. Always an exceed exceedingly high number of ones that run or have some sort of particular. Ability above the others. Yeah, every time I've gone to one of the nests, there's always like some kind of mutated type zombies, whether they're like a bunch of sprinters, whether they're super tough, um, and like just stuff like that. And there's also been like shriekers, uh, which has been like an admin playing as a zombie, essentially like luring them around. It's like kind of interesting. So, we've also encountered, oh, sorry, we've also encountered a shrieker before. <laughs> quack, 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 quack. Versus how they do their nests. As far as how. Huh. 
Remember when I said we'd be doing this in like five minutes? I lied. That's crazy. Well, she was saying that something about like the rain. Yeah, they're wanting to make a nest. I just want to know how they mutate or what actually causes it. Don't think making a nest is going to. Give us any answers. Yeah, I don't think making a nest is going to be a good idea, personally. In fact, I think it's actually like a pretty bad idea. I have to pee. I'll be right back, chat. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Uh, I don't have like a beer bee thing anymore. That's fine. I'll just be back in a second.
I'm back. Oh, what happened when I was gone, chat? Anything good? Anything spicy? <clears throat> I mean, things are the fleshy ground, the blood, and uh, or sorry, the weird. Mushrooms and the effigies. Ah. It's getting hot. I keep like chugging water because I'm like getting hot and my mouth's all dry. Hmm. Terraforming? Maybe. I don't know that. Either way. I think we'll get out of your hair. And let you get back to your business. I got some other stuff to attend to. Appreciate the hospitality. Yeah, and if you need anything, please let us know. We're usually willing to lend a hand. Oop, lend a hand. Stuff like this. Yeah, see your uncle, I'll let him know. Yeah. 
I don't want to switch to my AirPods. <clears throat> so it's starting to get warm. Something tells me I'm going to go up to uh, Louisville. I'm going to find this chick. I don't know if she, so she will keep it or won't keep it to get to the barn. So I don't try to look this. Gosh, this storm is crazy. I can like barely see. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I can straight up only see our cone of vision here. This is actually insane. Like the darkness is so intense. I'm trying so hard to see. This is like advanced darkness. Just moved into town because Cone? Yeah, I want ice cream. Yeah, the ground is freaking soaked. It's completely drenched. Look at it. Yeah, you can see all these puddles everywhere. <clears throat> I wonder if this storm is similar to the one last winter. It just didn't end. Because, yeah, there was like a month and a half long winter storm we had. It was not, it was like straight up just forever. Let's get inside. There was something I wanted to do. I'm trying to remember now what it was. Uh what was it that I wanted to do, chat? Because I wanted to do one more thing before we got off, but I can't remember what it was now. And it had to do with coming back here.
I really can't remember. What the heck? Oh, so much of crops growing out here. Receding wheat. No. Oh, wait, it's raining right now. Yeah, that's why I think this is like an artificial rain. I almost think that the weather is somehow tied to them. Because... When Lulu was, like, infected or whatever, the whole storm thing happened. I'm a little sus of the weather now. Well, yeah, but, because, see, the thing is, right, why isn't these crops affected by the rain? Or is it just because they're mud? Or something? I don't know. It's just sus. Maybe. Where did I put him? I love it. Is it be a radio cat? Perfect. That's weird. Maybe it's because I have no farm skill. And here's because I have no farm skill. I just can't uh can't tell. I don't know. I don't know. Turtle. Corona. Bow. Oh, okay. That's my secret hideout. Oh, now I remember what I was going to do. I need to come in here. That actually reminded me. Just going to put all this stuff up here for now. I wanted to do an RP thing up here um, before I logged out, so I've been meaning to do it, and I figured I would do it on stream really quick. Um... <clears throat> um, right there. Actually, now that I think about it, probably too too involved for me to do on stream. So I'm just gonna wait. Yeah, I think I'd be too involved to do on stream. I'm just not gonna do it on this time. So I'm gonna call it a day here for Project Soundboid. Just curious, is all online? Boop -a -boop -a -boop. Oh, cool. All right, yeah, that's it for for Zomboid. Uh We cleared the nest, and you know, we got everything we wanted to accomplish. So, I think that's it for now. We'll probably play again when there's like another event or something else to do uh, that I know about, you know, ahead of time.